a building code and therefore certificates of occupancy would be included as a part of the regulation of how people build and how people live and therefore the security with which they live. Similarly, this question of whether a dwelling should pass a test of occupancy once it is constructed is one to which I think we should return. In the question of the water sector, rainwater harvesting, um, making sure that households have, have water storage available, and in that entire discussion, there is the conversation about a plumbing code. But I don't know how you can introduce a plumbing code without a building code, unless the only thing you put in the house is plumbing. 